Hey everyone, in this video, we are treating one of our employees here, one of our nurses at the AFE, Elizabeth, and she is being treated by myself, Crystal. Um, we are doing full phase neurotoxin on her today. So she has been treated with us prior um, and she was due. So we kind of already know her dosing and what works well for her. So I just cleaned her up, marked her up, and then we are getting started. So as you can see, I always like to map out um, the patient's face with a dry erase marker just so I kind of have an idea of exactly how many injections I'm going to do, make sure that I'm covering the muscle um, all the way across to ensure the best distribution of product. So you can see she had quite a few dots across her forehead. Then moving into the glabella region, so treating that Perseris right in the center, and then moving out to the corrugators on either side. Always making sure to seal off that orbital rim to ensure the neurotoxin stays in the corrugator muscle and it doesn't leak down to the lid and give her lid ptosis. Um, Elizabeth is actually getting married in a little over a month. So this is basically her Botox uh, six weeks-ish before her wedding to ensure it is perfect and set in and ready to go for her wedding. Uh, talk about pressure, getting to inject an employee and a friend of someone who <laughs> is getting married in six weeks. So just did her crow's feet there. Now I'm doing a little bit of a brow lift. So I like to use a tight dilution when I'm treating the brow because it is such a specific injection. You have to be extremely superficial um, to ensure that you're not going too deep and injecting the frontalis because then I'm really going to drop her brow. Um, and you don't want to use a lot of volume because then it may diffuse a little bit too much down to the frontalis and still give her a little bit of heaviness or drop. So use tight solution, very superficial injection. Um, and that was that. Then you can see I just treated her nasalis, so those two injections on either side of the nose, moving down to her mentalis, right into the beefiest part of that muscle. Uh, she's kind of a unique case when it comes to pain. She does get a lot of TMJ injections um, in regards to like her temporalis, her traps, her splenius capitis, but she doesn't have issues with clenching, grinding, Never has, so we actually do not treat her masseters at all. We just treat her temporalis. So she's getting three injections on either side. Uh, I believe I gave her five units in each, so like a total of 15 units per side. And this really helps with her headaches, migraines. Uh, and she doesn't have any kind of recruitment to her masseters. She doesn't have any pain or clenching or grinding, so we just don't treat her masseters. Only treat her temporalis here. And it really does help um, her headaches. So this is definitely more of a therapeutic treatment for her as the rest of them are more um, cosmetic. Then moving down to her platysma. So Elizabeth is very young, so her platysma really aren't too, too strong. But she definitely loves the look of when they're relaxed. So she's got two prominent ones that we treat. And you can see when she activates that muscle, I'm kind of picking it up and isolating it in between my fingers so that I know I'm going directly into the muscle. So typically this injection, you want to keep pretty superficial. So as I'm going down the band and that band is kind of thinning out, I'm not putting as much of my needle in there, um, maybe only like a quarter or half of the needle. So you just want to be uh, conscious of your depth of the needle to ensure you're just getting in the platysma. Thank you so much for watching, everybody.